What's up? This is your metaphysical advisor, Montre Bible, and sorry guys, making this video a little bit late, but I'm doing a monthly reading for Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising, so stay tuned. All right. What's up, Gemini's? This month is a, a month of harvest. It's a month of wrapping things up, ending things, okay? Um, not a great month to start anything new, but whatever energy that you've been building up, this is the month that it's going to, you're going to start seeing some, either some results or like deciding like, okay, this is what I want to do. Okay. Um, I'm going to look in the cards. This reading is a general reading for Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising. You know the drill. If you want a personal reading, I have links in the description. And uh, be sure to hit the like button and leave me a comment. Let me know what's going on with you guys. All right. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Thank you, Angel Spirit Guides, Ancestors, Creator of all things, Mother, Father. Please give me insight into Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising for the month. Hmm. Confusion crossed by the King of Swords. This could be your energy or someone else with air energy, okay? Gemini, Aquarius, uh, Libra. But there's some confusion going on here. This is in the middle. This is about not communicating or communicating very badly. Okay? Arguments. In the past, there were some grievances that you may have had um, with somebody. This is past grievances. You may have gotten over it. Uh, three of Pentacles. A lot of threes here. Coming up in the future. This could be about too many people involved. This could be friends. This could be lovers. If it's lovers, you have a third person. A third person. This could be infidelity or having choices of two different people. But there's three people. I see that. Crowning it. We have the hermit card. You're being by yourself. You're taking time to think. And at the root of it, six of pentacles. Imbalance. So I see more than one person in this one. But the main concern. Excuse me. had a back up so I can see all the cards. The main thing with this air energy in the middle, I think it's mostly about you. So just think for a second here. The past is the three of swords. This also could be like for some of you, this is uh you hurt somebody else. Okay? Three of swords reverse. This is you may be causing some grievances to somebody else. Also, this could be a past grievances that you've gotten over. The Three of Pentacles. Something wasn't working out. People can't work together. More than one person. This, If it's a relationship, this is definitely a mm, third-party situation. You know, people having an affair, cheating. Something's out of balance. If it's not, then this is... It's involving three people. Ugh, excuse me, tongue tied. It's involving three people, and you're involved. How do you fit in a situation? The higher fit reverse, getting breaking a commitment. The environment. The King of Wands could be dealing with the fire energy. Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. This person is very focused, knows what they want, does what they want, uh, knows how to manifest high sexual energy. Your fear or hope. The Queen of Pentacles. Um, fear of manipulation. Fear of somebody uh, really taking advantage. The Queen of Pentacles reverse, man. She's a trickster, man. She she knows how to make things happen, but she's she manipulates things in her own favor. What else can I see with her? Queen of Pentacles. She keeps things to... When she's a, uh, she's selfish. All the queens reverse are a little bit selfish, but but she's she's a manipulator. Like she 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 plays people. Um, outcome of things keep going this way. Yeah, I kind of figure that. 
Six of Swords reverse. This is not only having mental instability, things not working out. This is this is really screwing with your mind, Gemini. I think this is your energy right here. Mental instability, not being able to be mentally balanced. We got two sixes, we got two threes. So things are out of balance in your life right now. And and it may deal with communicating and how you communicate, who you're communicating to, because three is about communication. Let's get some clarity, though. What's at the bottom? Oh, the devil card. A lot of people, I'm sensing that this month is about everybody releasing toxic energy, toxic people, getting rid of that. Okay? Uh, both Aries and Taurus are getting rid of people. Gemini. Gemini, the devil card re reverse is talking about you needing to release yourself from toxic energy. Now, presently, I don't see any lovers kind of thing. But this could be easily, this could easily be anything. This could be people that bring toxicity to your life, but it's more than one person. Uh, it doesn't have to be love. I don't quite see that. It could be friends, cutting off friends. But something's brought confusion. Somebody's not communicating or dr just communicating badly, gossiping. And you decided, you know what? I'm just going to be by myself, kind of take some time away. Uh, changing other guards, man. The only way this could be a divorce or a relationship is a higher fence. Hierophant Reverse talks about marriages and divorces. Commitments. Boyfriends, girlfriends, commitments. Long-term commitments, though. But so this easily can be a long-term friendship. And Hierophant is also... Let's look at that. Look at the stress setup. It's multiple people involved here. Okay? So what I'm seeing is... This is breaking up of a commitment that you've had maybe to a group or a group of people or some friends. And I'm kind of feeling it's a friendship thing. Something's out of balance. And there's some disagreements and you're like, you know what? I've been by myself. I'm chilling. Y'all ain't talking to me. Y'all ain't communicating with me no more. Because I don't think it's just one person. I think it's a group. And Gemini, you're like, I'm about to move on, man. I can find me a new group. Clarify the Three of Swords. Please clarify the Three of Swords. Ace of Swords. Yeah, this is a group that you were communicating with. Maybe you were the leader with. There was some communication. Someone got their feelings hurt. You spoke your mind about something. Clarify the King of Swords. You looking at your options? What are you confused about, Gemini? Clarify that. Put that in the uh, comments. What are you confused about right now? Put. What are you confused about, Gemini? What are you confused about? I got two cards. This could be about a new opportunity. Could be about money. Could be about a missed opportunity. And not communicating anymore. <laughs> two aces. This is something that this could be about. You're confused. You're not communicating about a missed opportunity or losing money or uh, being taken advantage of. And now you're not and with the Knight of Swords. You're not communicating with these people anymore. You're, you're walking away. You lost something. You lost something by con being connected with these people. Clarify the three of pentacles. And you pulled your love away. You're like, I don't, I don't care about you guys anymore. There was just too many people that are not working together, and you're like, I'm out. With the the knight and the knight of swords and the knight of cups both reversed, it's your mind and your heart. You're like, I don't care anymore. That's why you have the hermit card at the top. Clarify the six of pentacles.
<laughs> All the knights are reversed. Look at there. This is a slow progress, though. You're stuck. What it was, you were dealing with some people that not only put you out of balance, but you weren't moving forward. You were feeling stuck. You weren't even moving forward. This was a toxic connection. This is rooted in toxic connection. People would take get you were being taken advantage of. People were getting more out of it than you were. Three nights all going the other direction. Gemini, what is up with that? Clarify the hierophant. You mentally, you mentally, you're out. Emotionally, you're out. And physically, you just like. I don't think you really done anything because a knight of pentacles, he's not even moving. He's just stuck. He's just sitting still. And the six of pentacles is reverse. So maybe you haven't made a decision to move yet. Maybe you haven't decided anything yet. But you know, mentally and, and emotionally, you're out of it. Look at this. Yeah. You're waiting for some balance. Six of coins. You're thinking, I'm going to wait and see what happens. I don't want to break up this connection here. The Hierophant. Seven of Coins just waiting. Waiting for somebody to give you something. Gemini. Hmm. What's up with this uh, King of Wands? Who is the King of Wands? What's up with him? Clarify the King of Wands, please. Clarify why the King of Wands is here. He's in the environment. Ten of Coins. Long-term commitment. Another long-term commitment. I feel like you're breaking up with this, though. Or... For some of you, there's somebody waiting that does want something more. Uh, ten, of, ten of Pentacles, Ten of Coins, a very passionate individual whose their focus is on you. They want to have something more long term with you. They want to have something strong with you that can happen. This person's in your environment. This is actually the best card combination that I see. But I see like you're still waiting. You're still waiting for somebody to give you something. But you're about to break that up. Higher fit reverse. About to break this commitment up. Because <sighs> you want something. Clarify the queen of pentacles up there. What's that? That's a fear. Clarify the queen of pentacles. This is a past. Something that happened in the past. You are... You've been through this. You've been there, done that. You've had... Someone trick you before you're afraid it's going to happen again. Clarify the Six of Swords reverse. Clarify the Six of Swords reverse. Clarify the Six of Swords reverse. Six of Cups. Thinking in the past, what you used to make you happy. This could be uh, dealing with an ex. You out of balance, thinking about the past, got you looking, can't even move, moving forward, but you still looking back. Like, man, we were happy together. But you out of balance. You might, there might be a situation where there's too many people involved, being taken advantage of, looking at your options. And now you're looking at your ex, trying to, maybe ex or ex-friend, someone that you used to be happy with. Or if this is a friendship situation, I can see it's two situations. If this is a friendship friendship situation, you are out because people have been taking advantage of you. But you're not physically out yet. You're just kind of sitting still waiting for something to happen. But you really want to break this commitment up. What the environment is, there's very strong individuals around you who, who have been there for the long haul. There's a fear of this happening again. Something bad happening again. Things keep going. You're still going to be mentally imbalanced because you're always thinking about the past. You're thinking about how things used to be. But it ain't this way now. Definitely not. If this is a lover situation, Gemini, and sometimes it is, uh, you're thinking about breaking up, but I don't think you have yet. You're looking at options. You're confused. You have someone who's been taking advantage of you. You've already checked out. And somebody is new in the end of the picture. Somebody's been cheating. If this is a love situation, either you've been cheating or they've been cheating and you haven't broken up. Because in your environment, you got some good, somebody good. 
So overall, what I can see is that you are hesitant to move forward because of past issues, past things, past issues, things you used to be happy, but somebody hurt you and y'all get better. You put, I don't know, you need to kind of, maybe, maybe it's time. The higher fin reverse, um, separation, breaking a commitment. I think you're thinking about it. I don't think you've done it yet. You're still waiting on something. What are you waiting for? I told you this is a month of endings. Oracle card for Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising. And there's a, when I see more than two signs talking about breaking up, and I think it's because of the season. We're getting close to spring. You know, people break up during this time. What is this card? The librarian. This is about taking your knowledge and what you know. This you taking your time because you're trying to get enough information that, that you can before you make a decision. The librarian is always about studying stuff. And Gemini, you are about studying. You're trying to get more information. That's what you're trying to do. That's why you're taking your time. You're like, I'm not. Wait, let me let me make sure I get some more. Because if you're confused about something, you're not gonna make a move. And that's the problem. You're confused. Let this reading be your clarity. Moon card for Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising. If you need a personal reading, go ahead and hit the link in the description. Now look into your situation. Could be dealing with the Leo. Confidence is the key to success. New Moon and Leo. There's a new beginning about to happen. And you need to embrace that energy. Especially the Leo energy. Leo energy is about loving yourself first before you start spreading yourself around. There's If this is a love situation, there's definitely more than one person. Someone's cheating. If this is a friendship situation that you've been friends with folks for the longest, you still got other people. There's still people who love to hang out with you. But this, this circle of three people or more, this is toxic. And what did I say? You're going to be separating yourself from toxic energy this month. you separating yourself from toxic energy. What's a or animal oracle for Gemini? Everybody is. This is not just you. The magic works for you, the scarab. So you are definitely going to have to initiate this change. Um, you're going to have to initiate having a new beginning. This is not just going to happen. It's something that if you let it linger, it will continue to linger. For some people, the change just happens. For you, Gemini, you're going to have to initiate it. Because Six of Swords talks about if things keep going, you're just going to be out of balance. You'll be kind of happy because you'll be thinking about the past, but it's not going to be present happiness. It's going to be like, well, I can deal with this. But look what you now. Hermit card. Sitting by yourself trying to get information, just being wise by yourself. Like, I'm not going to deal with this right now. I'm just going to be by myself. Angel advice for Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising. All is well. Everything is happening as it's supposed to. With hidden blessings, you will soon understand. Okay? You think all this craziness is happening for a reason? Yeah, it is. It is happening for a reason. It's meant to push you toward a different direction. There is a change happening right now. I sense it with a lot of these signs. I've only done three and they've all talked about separating from toxic energy. You're not going to be able to move forward till you start addressing this toxic energy. I know you're trying to figure things out, Gemini. You're trying to get to educate. You're trying to educate yourself on what's really going on, especially if it's something you're confused about. But you need to initiate the change. You might be looking at your options with the seven of cups there. You're checking out things. You're trying to do this because you're confused. There's a lot of arguments. There's confusion. Running away from a situation. Being taken advantage of. And you've emotionally and mentally checked out. But the time is now for you to take the information that you have and go ahead and initiate something. Because this, whatever long-term commitment that you've had with multiple people, friends or lovers, it ain't working out. So there is somebody who wants something better. 
This could be a friend. This could be a lover. Let's clarify. For some of y'all, it is a lover situation. Is this a friend or a lover? Somebody who wants a relationship. Is this someone who wants to be a lover? Is this someone, someone who wants a long-term relationship with Gemini? That's the four of coins. That talks about uh, stability. The ten of swords. Something's not over yet. And the queen of coins. Someone who's very stable. Wow. This is a... a Someone who wants something more stable with you. This someone who wants a relationship with you. Could be an ex. Could be an ex. And that maybe that's why. I saw that six of, six of cups. Is that you're thinking about past happiness, but you're still immensely on balance. There could be a fire sign that you had a long-term commitment with, that wants something long-term with you, that you thought was over, who is way more emotionally stable, and wants... Doesn't want to let you go. Okay. Pick that person probably. Anyways, if you need more clarity on personal reading, uh, you know what to do. And hit that like button. Talk to you guys later and make your reality happen. Because if you don't do it, then who will?